Today we are going to laser engrave cork coasters. We are using four different lasers today so you can get an idea of settings and results on each one. We're also going to talk about some ideas for engraving and selling these. Hey, I'm Sarah, you're watching Creative Ramblings. We share a lot of videos about lasers on this channel. So if you are a laser user or an aspiring laser crafter, hit that subscribe button. I know I will have videos that will help you move forward. Today we're focusing on cork coasters. These are inexpensive, flexible, super absorbent, and they work great in restaurants. You can engrave these using your craft laser. And today we are going to look at the different settings that you are wanting to use to engrave these. I picked up these coasters on Amazon. They are fairly inexpensive. You can buy them in bulk. So the lasers that I am using today are the, they're all x tool lasers, but I'm using the F1 Ultra, which is a 20 watt diode and a 20 watt fiber. I am using the 10 watt diode in the M1 Ultra, the 40 watt diode in the S1, and the CO2 laser by Xtool, the P2S. Diodes do a great job of engraving cork. Cork is very thin and flexible, burns really easily. It is ideal for a diode laser. I did do some testing with IR modules or fiber and you just don't get the best results. So diode or CO2 is going to be the way to go for these. So you can go ahead and engrave fun images on coasters. You can also use this for business to business selling. So if you've got some local restaurants in your area and you wanna market yourself, you can engrave a coaster and head over to that restaurant and let them know that you are able to engrave their business name and logo and a QR code on here. These are great to have a QR code that leads to a restaurant's menu or maybe a way that a customer can scan it and it leads to their Facebook page or a place to leave a review. It is a really great marketing tool for that restaurant. Let's dive into the software and I'm gonna show you how to create a QR code so that you can take these and go show them to your local restaurants and show them what you can do. Because we're using all x lasers, we're gonna do this all in XCS software. The first laser we're working with is this one right over here. This is the F1 Ultra. I am in Xtool Creative Space and I am connected to my Xtool F1 Ultra. So we're gonna create an image for a coaster and I wanna use a QR code and a business name. And in this case, I'm just going to use my channel name here, Creative Ramblings. And now I'm going to create a QR code that will take you to my YouTube channel. So over on the left, we're going to go to Applications and then Code Generation. I'm going to select QR code and then under Content, I'm just gonna paste my channel URL. You can use any URL here. So if you're making this for a business, it could be the website for their menu or to leave a review, whatever you want it to be. I have never changed these advanced settings down in the bottom. I just leave them at 15% and it works out great. And now the QR code comes up. Everything looks really good. The only thing that I want to change is that this right now is an image and it's going to work a lot faster if I switch this over to a vector or an SVG. So to do that, I'm going to come up to the top and click trace. And the trace button can do this for any image. It's just gonna trace all the little pieces of the image. It doesn't work so well on a photograph, but it works really well on something like this. So I can see that the blue lines are tracing everything that I need to. I can go ahead and hit save. And then if I just pull that off, the one on the left here is the image. I can, well, I won't delete that yet, but I won't use this. And this one on the right here is set to score. I just need to click engrave. And before I delete this one on the left, I can grab my phone and just make sure that this QR code works. And it does, it takes me right to my website. So I can delete the image and line these two up. Engraving goes a lot faster when everything is combined and grouped together. So I'm gonna select everything and create a compound vector. 
Now I'm going to select the material. And we are using the cork settings that come in Xtool Creative Space. The F1 Ultra has two lasers. It has a fiber and a diode. In the tests that I've done, you get the best results engraving cork with a diode laser. Um, you can do it with the fiber, but it's, it's really powerful. You don't need that much power. It doesn't really work with an IR module. Um, it does work with a CO2 laser, but that's really powerful, and I get ghosting on that. So your best results are going to be with a diode. So I'm choosing the blue light here. Power of 75, speed of 1,000, and 120 lines per centimeter. The benefit of having the F1 or the F1 Ultra is that these move really, really fast. It's a Galvo style laser, so you're not moving back and forth on an axis. Uh, this just goes incredibly fast. We should be able to do this in about 30 seconds. The F1 Ultra has a camera, so I can refresh the background and then just line everything up. I really like that I have a camera, but since I want this centered perfectly, I am also going to choose the framing option. And that looks like it's centered perfectly on my coaster when I look at the machine. So now everything is ready to go. I like where it's placed. We can process. These are the four coasters we did with different lasers. Let's take a look at how they turned out. This is the P2S, the CO2 laser. It is a fairly deep engraving. It's nice and dark, but it does have some ghosting that has come up around it here. The CO2 is just a really powerful laser, and I'm not sure it's the best option when you're using such a soft and easily burnable material. Next, let's look at these two diodes right here. We have the M1 at 10 watts and the S1 at 40 watts. These are beautiful engravings. There's no ghosting. It looks really nice. Um, the S1, I did a little bit deeper than the M1 here, but goodness, these look so nice and they're dark. I really like how these turned out. This one is the F1 Ultra. This is a fairly deep engrave with a really nice dark coloring. So overall, I really like these three here. The biggest difference is the F1 Ultra was done in just about 30 seconds. This one took about four minutes. This one took three, three something. So if you have a choice, uh, the F1 or the F1 Ultra is going to be much quicker, but you get gorgeous results with any diode laser. Let's talk about cleaning. There is a little bit of soot that gets left on these. Not a lot, but enough that we do need to wash them. So we're going to do just that. I'm going to take a hard bristle brush or even a toothbrush and just wash these under water and then let them air dry. And then we don't need to seal them with anything because we want the cork to absorb liquid from a drink. So we're going to leave them just like this. We just want to get any of that soot off so when our customers are touching them, they're not getting any dirt on their fingers. These custom coasters are super easy to make. I showed you a bunch of different lasers and methods for making them. And it's a great way to connect with local businesses to use your work to help them promote their business. If you have any other questions on how to engrave coasters, please let me know down in the comments. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos helping you move forward in your creative journey. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.